The usual way we think about when we say compassion, what we assume is you've got to you go off and help people. That's what compassion is. We think it as action. So then the thought of just feeling compassionate, which is a very Buddhist thing, but I'll explain what I mean, doesn't seem complete enough. It seems rather almost, oh, you so she feels compassionate. Who cares? So I think we always feel it has to be action. But you've got to, the Buddhist approach, as we know, you've got to start with the mind. I mean, if we think of some people, this doesn't make sense for us in our culture. If we think of some people who go off into the mountains for years doing compassion meditations, we think, what is the point of all this? What is the point? Because what it is, the Buddhist one isn't just that you go out and feel a nice feeling about somebody and felt compassionate for a moment. And then two minutes later, you want to punch your husband in the nose. This is the Buddhist approach is that you can cultivate and grow to the most tremendous degrees, this compassion. It's a training that we need to occupy, we need to do. And so that includes having compassionate includes. thoughts every day, cultivating compassionate thoughts, having a compassionate motivation in which we imagine being compassionate, in which you imagine taking upon yourself the suffering of others. This, does, this is not just self-centeredness. This is not just self-involvement. These are powerful techniques that literally grow your compassion. So then effortlessly when the time comes you can put it into practice so I would say not necessarily every time you sit in your house and have compassionate thoughts when you watch the television about like say the suffering in the Ukraine in Ukraine I don't necessarily think that's going to benefit the next door neighbor even but I think it's definitely not a waste of thoughts because every time you have compassion you're programming your mind with compassion you're going to have more and more compassion and then you can easily put your money where your mouth is when the opportunity comes so it's training it's training you know but you think about it if you walk into a room where people have been arguing they're not saying a word but we all say you can cut the atmosphere with a knife because their minds are angry look at what it does to people but just seeing a happy person with a compassionate mind we know that affects people we know it helps people so i think in that simple sense yes can having a per, people around us who are compassionate it definitely can i think has an effect it has to have an effect it has to have a very powerful effect